Hi guys, um, just thought I'd show you a few of my recent pickups that I found today. Um, found a new honey pit of vinyl in a local town called Bridgewater. Uh, passed the shop many times but never gone in. It seems to be closed when I go past, but um, it was open today. Currently playing um, Genesis I Know What I Like in your wardrobe. This is Twilight Owl House on the flip side single. Always try and pick those up when I see them. I've probably got about three copies now. So. Um, and these are the albums that I picked up today. So George Michael, Listen Without Prejudice. It's a great album, it's a, it's a real classic. Um, been looking for a nice copy, it was cheap and it was clean. Uh, got had this on vinyl when it came out and um, sorry not on vinyl, I bought this on CD when it came out. Never really seen it on vinyl, just turned it down a bit. And uh, found it today. Couldn't leave it there for the especially for the price it was, so and I guess is Alan Parsons project, Eye in the Sky. Very really nice, got a nice uh, in a in a bag with the lyrics on. Great label with the Eye of Isis on it. And this has actually got a sort of inner bag, so someone's looked after it. I'm very pleased to have that. Uh, got most of the Alan Parsons, not a great fan, but certain of his albums are, are worth getting, and that's really nice. It's got a nice embossed gold Isis eye on it. Uh, never seen this next one before. This is um, Rain and Tears, the best of Aphrodite's child on Philips. A really nice uh, shiny shiny sleeve and um, let's have a look at the album. Philips bag and uh, the classic Philips label. So uh, I haven't got 666 on vinyl, I've got it on um, on CD so it'd be interesting to hear this on vinyl. Got a couple of tracks from there, so interesting one there. Here's um, another one. I picked it up today. Um, never seen this before. Electric Light Orchestra, 1983 on Jet Records. It's basically, I think, um, a Jeff Lynn solo for all intents and purposes. I think. I'm just looking at the. I don't really know to be honest with you. Um, oh no, it's got Bev Bevan on drums and uh, Richard Tandy on synths, Kelly Gregkert on, on uh, bass guitar. So it is actually, you know, with Bev Bevan in there, I, I would class that as being a classic. Uh, that is, you know, an ELO lineup. It's a great jet label, very nice condition, hasn't been played much by the looks of it. Uh, never heard it, but when you see something in the wild that you don't normally see, um, you know, one would always be tempted to pick that up. Uh, one I've been after for a long time, this is actually a bronze label version, it's not on Vertigo. I'm not sure if it actually came out on Vertigo. Yes, uh, maybe it did. This, I believe, is a German version, so it's Uriah Heap, very heavy, very humble. And, um, Let's look at the vinyl. So the music for pleasure sleeve, that doesn't bode well, does it? Um, let's have a look. I'm just trying to see. Yeah, this is definitely German. Munchum. And there's the um, there's the bronze label there. Uh, it's a great album. It's very heavy actually. <laughs> Need to change it in a bag. Um, but one of their greats, and they're quite expensive to find these, so um, getting that for, I think, 20 quid wasn't too bad. And then this one, um, been looking for a copy of this, I think I've got it already uh, with a different pencil drawing on the front. It's, it's Roy Harper Valentine. But I've never seen that particular 
cover and I really like that mixing desk picture at the back there which isn't Trident, I'm not sure where it was um, uh, dedicated to Bonzo, Jimmy, John Paul and Robert so Led Zepp uh, 1974 and this was um, this issue came out in 89 and it says here that the photo, oh, sorry, the cover design is uh, hypnosis. Uh, so this is on the awareness label. Not seen that one before. So uh, a bit dusty, but uh, it looks okay actually. It looks looks uh, unplayed. So as I say, I think I've already got that one. I think the early one had a different pencil drawing on the front. Oh yes, a certain female I know has redrawn the sleeve cover. The original was done from a photograph. The new one is a representation of the beast whose job it is to mark something a couple of times a day. To make her smile a couple of times a day. That must be his wife or partner then. So really nice to have that. Um, and that's it for today. So here's to next time. Overnight.